Details are on our website and his. Well, if you remember last week, we sent Donny Slack and Warren Biggs to a luxurious retreat in uh, North Cornwall as part of an occasional series to show you how the wealthy are coping with the credit crunch. Here is their exclusive report on how the overweight rich pay pounds to shed pounds. Okay, now automatically when you close your eyes, you start to relax. You shut down one of your senses, so you can find that your mind becomes much more focused. So, last week, we left you with us arriving at New Beginnings in Devon. This week, we're going to show you what we got up to. Let's go jump straight into the deep end. Now, as you count down from 10 to 1, you also focus on relaxing your body. Now, how you can do this is when you count the first number, you take your attention down to your feet, and then start to feel a warm sensation around your feet. Okay, imagine your feet relaxing. Okay, so just relax. This was my favourite bit. Head massage. Once they get started, you don't want this to end. Okay, you can do some pressure points on your face. Okay. And as you breathe out, we're going to fold forwards and do the other side. So folding into the forward bend. Can't say yoga was my favourite thing. As you breathe in. And when you've had enough coming out nice and gracefully, give your standing leg a bit of a shake. When you've had enough, dropping your arms, stacking your feet back together. How do you do it? How do you make healthy food tasty every single day? One of the main ways is just by using good quality, fresh ingredients. I try to select things that are in season and I haven't had to travel a long way and use organic produce as much as I possibly can. Yeah, I do give much smaller portions, um, which will grow. Um, during the time that people, people stay and, and maintain this diet. I feed them five times a day. So it's not like you're being absolutely restricted in, in, in your food intake. Halfway, flat out, let's go. Wayne, the dreaded personal trainer. Okay, ready? Nice and wide. The, the people who come and see us are the people who've done every diet, who've tried everything, and who are really frustrated. So they're frustrated with themselves. They know how to lose weight, but they're not doing it, and they don't understand why. And that's, that's what we want to make the difference with. But we won't take more than eight people in a week, and we interview everyone before they come, because if they're not serious about losing weight, then this isn't the right program. And, and we, you know, we want people here who are going to get fantastic results and who are ready to make a, a real change. Now, the other thing is, you started in 2008, so you pretty much opened this place as a recession was hitting. Yes. And was hitting the entire Western world. Yeah. Um, what effect did that have? Um, I'm not sure that it had a very negative... Uh, it was scary. Uh, it, you know, I wasn't thrilled to be opening a business as, as a recession was, you know, really going into full swing. Mm. Um, but I don't think it made a huge difference negatively for us because actually as money's become tighter for people, people have become more aware of their health and their self-esteem and how they feel about themselves. And maybe actually people have started to think of, of themselves as being more important than the money. Yeah, yeah. You can see it's a well-worn trail. How um, far away is one? It looks the thing. Uh, this is John, who took us on our hike. Now, this is wood sorrel. If you pinch a little bit of leaf and give a chew, quite refreshing and good if you've got a headache. And we walked for miles and miles and miles. So, Yvonne, Afshin, I've shown you what celebrities have done, what politicians have done. They come to a place like this, spend two and a half thousand pounds a week at least to get what? Diet control, hypnotherapy, reflexology, gym training and a healthy diet.